Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about plasma pen. And this is a treatment that you guys have probably heard of. Maybe you have even had this treatment yourself and you might have got some good results. Well, I would definitely say that you are one of the lucky ones. Now, plasma pen is a treatment that I really don't like. I think that there are far too many complications and I think that there are so many more better treatments out there that can help you achieve your aesthetic goals. Now, my area of expertise is non-surgical cosmetic treatments and I'm a skin and aesthetics doctor. But I actually saw this video on Instagram and I have it up here on YouTube from Dr. Mike Nyack, who is a excellent plastic surgeon who's based in America. And he's talking about the pitfalls of plasma pen because I'm sure you guys have all seen those videos on social media of those, um, of those patients who have undergone plasma pen treatment that have got those really impressive looking areas of um, little dots of areas that they've had treated. Um, and plasma pen is touted as something that can lift firm and tighten the skin. Uh, and lots of people who do plasma pen treatments um, promote them as being an, an alternative to surgery. Now, if you have seen any of my social media posts or any of my other videos, you will know that I always talk about the limitations of non-surgical cosmetic treatments and that there is a very big difference between what you can achieve with surgical treatments that are able to underlie, um, able to address the underlying laxity of muscles, ligaments, um, bone, uh, not laxity of bone, but you know, any ad address any anything that is necessary when it comes to the bony structure of what you're trying to uh, improve. Um, and non-surgical treatments are somewhat limited in what they can achieve when it comes to firming, lifting and tightening the skin. So when we think about plasma pen, which essentially works by generating, it uses electricity to generate a plasma arc that essentially burns the top layer of your skin. Uh, and this epidermal layer is injured. They, um, they're, they're, it's supposed to induce a collagen building effect in the skin that is able to tighten the skin. Now, there are many reasons why I don't like this treatment. And it comes down to the fact that I've seen lots of people who have ended up with permanent changes to their skin from someone who has done the, the treatment incorrectly or used the wrong settings or has just not been very skilled at using this particular form of technology. Now, things like increased pigmentation, decreased pigmentation, um, permanent scarring, permanent redness, um, and also lack of result. So people who are having these treatments are being promised results that this treatment just simply cannot deliver. Take, for example, this poor lady who I actually did um, a short shorts video about, um, who is from the UK, I think she's from Wales. Uh, she underwent plasma fibroblast therapy to her neck. And you can even see on this picture here that she has got um, scarring and hypopigmentation uh, permanently left to this area of her neck that was treated. Now, if we are to look at this lady and use her as a case study, plasma fibroblast treatment is not going to be able to address the laxity of this lady's neck. And that is because it's not only the skin that needs addressing, but it's also the underlying structures. Um, plasma fibroblast treatment is not going to be able to lift and reposition the underlying structures in the neck to improve that sagging skin. Um, but this lady underwent plasma fibroblast treatment um, this is the result and you can see that she's been left with permanent scarring to this area and she has been um, missold a treatment which I think is really unethical and I think it's a really poor way to practice. Um, you know, Dr. Mike Nyack in his video here really kind of sums it up and you know we could listen to it. He is Going to tell Every us single exactly day on Instagram and TikTok, I watch somebody treatment. take a plasma pen, which is a less powerful version of what I'm using right here, and use it to burn the surface of the skin using plasma energy. And they make a beautiful, satisfying, dizzying pattern of dots on the surface of the nose or on the jowl. And they either say outright, or at least they imply that you're going to get a result that is similar to surgery for a shorter period of time and much less expensive. Well, that is complete garbage. So so it is complete garbage because if you actually, he goes on to say, if you think about it, 
what is happening is that the plasma fibroblast pen is simply treating the very surface layer. What is underlying here is muscle, bone, ligament, cartilage, all of these things are not going to be treated by a flat plasma fibroblast treatment. Um, it's not a substitute for surgery. It cannot reshape the nose. It is not going to be very successful when it comes to lifting, firming, and tightening the skin. So if you're thinking about having this treatment, please think twice. If the one thing, the one good thing I do today is that you've watched this video and you think again about having this treatment, then I will be really happy because there are other treatments out there that are going to give you much better, much more consistent and evidence-based results. Things like ultrasound treatments, high intensity focused ultrasound, my particular favorite, which is radio frequency treatments, and also laser treatments that are able to do some degree of lifting, uh, of tightening the skin, depending on the type of laser. So if you guys want me to talk a little bit more about any of those treatments, let me know in the comments. But please stay away from plasma fibroblast treatments. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, please share with somebody who you might who may also be considering having this treatment um, and hopefully we can reduce any of those potential horrible complications that can come with this treatment so have a good day lovely um, to talk to you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video